Hi, I'm Chase thompson Ball with SimplyMac.com. We're a Utah-based company with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips about using the iPad, and I know you're going to love them. And now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about drawing on PowerPoint slides from your iPad. So there are a couple of ways to accomplish this. Now obviously we need a PowerPoint that we can work with. Now Microsoft does not make a PowerPoint app for the iPad just yet, so right now we're going to use a third-party one that Apple makes called Keynote. But Keynote works great, with, uh, works great with PowerPoint documents. You can go ahead and create a PowerPoint and bring it into Keynote and then export it out as a PowerPoint again. So that's a very handy thing. Now, if we have a slide like this, one thing that we might uh, want to do is I may want to highlight something. So as I'm working with this slide, I may want to highlight that this is a very lighter, faster 10-hour battery in the iPad. And if this is up on a projector, then I want to be able to illustrate that. If I just push and hold my finger, I'm going to get this little laser pointer thing. And I can go ahead and I can highlight certain items and say, look, a 10 hour battery. And that would actually show up on my projector. Now, if your object isn't to, um, isn't to use a laser pointer on the iPad, but more of like I'd like to draw something and then have that be part of my slide, I'm actually going to use a different application. And I like to call that one penultimate. Penultimate is a great drawing application that you can get for a dollar in the App Store. So um, what I like to do is use my Pogo Stylus, and I can go ahead and draw whatever I'd like. And you see it's a very fluid thing. As I move fast, the line gets thinner. And so I can draw whatever I'd like, and I can change colors as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this as a photo. So I'm going to tap on this arrow up here, and I'm going to save this page to my photos and just wait for a second. That checkbox means that it's done. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to Keynote, and I'm going to add my photo to this slide. So all I have to do is tap up here, and I can go ahead to my saved photos. There's that little picture I just drew, and there we go. I've got my picture here, and I can go ahead and scale it around. Maybe I want it to be really big. I'll move it to right there or right here in the middle, and done. I've now been able to draw and put that into a keynote slide. And I can still push my finger and highlight certain areas of my drawing if maybe this was something like a floor plan. Again, I'm Chase thompson Ball with SimplyMac.com, and we've talked to you about adding some drawings to your PowerPoint slides while using the iPad.